Hello and welcome back to Advanced Installer. I'm Alex and today we are kicking off a series about custom actions in installers focusing on process handling. Now, whether you're a beginner or an experienced IT professional, this series will enhance your understanding of MSI technology and custom actions using Advanced Installer, VBScript and PowerShell. So let's get started. Now, first up, one of the most used process handling custom action is the terminate process. Now, this is crucial for closing running application processes before installation or uninstallation. Uh, so let's see how you can terminate a process like Notepad DXC using Advanced Installer. Now, in Advanced Installer, things are, are quite easily. You can go to the custom actions page, search for terminate process, as you can see here double click and just tell your process name for example notepad.txe uh, we want to kill it immediately and you have uh, multiple options you can uh, do it each and every time there is a certain action on the msi for example during installation uninstallation or repair or you can leave it only for installation or both and so forth and so on there are also other ways you can do this uh, one of the most popular ways in the past was by using vbscript so if we have a look a little bit over vbscript uh, there are actually two ways in which you can kill a certain process uh, first of all you have your task kill utility which is included in the os right so we already know we passed this so we already know that we can run different cmd um, commands uh, with vbscript right so we simply have a cmd.txe run this uh, specific uh, command line which is task kill force blah blah, blah notepad.txe uh, and that's pretty much it now i think we already know how to add uh, a VBScript. script so launch the attached file go to desktop uh, search for task kill good immediately and uh, say when you want to perform this action right uh, this is the first method the second method is to actually use the wmi so if we have a, lit, a little bit of a, a look over this script we are um, executing a query in the vmi right so from the win32 process class uh, we are selecting all the processes we find which contain notepad.txe and if we found uh, multiple instances of notepad we are closing them all right uh, again the same way you can add it here and everything will be fine Good, you can also terminate processes with PowerShell, uh, which in my opinion simplifies the process um, because you can either use the uh, standard task skill that I previously showed in VBScript, but here you just write it here, task skill, blah, 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 save your file and uh, place it on your MSI and everything will run smoothly or you can use and this is my recommendation you can use the stop process commandlet to terminate processes the stop process commandlet is particularly versatile for scripting right so you have your stop process the name of the process and the force attribute right uh, and again nothing too fancy go to advanced installer custom actions search for powershell you can uh, either run a powershell inline script and you can just paste whatever we have here something like this and this will work just fine or you can run a powershell script file which you can attach uh, here if it's a much more complex script right again same scenario install and install maintenance good so i don't think this is particularly hard but this is probably the most used um, custom action when it comes to uh, process manipulation now uh, there are might be some complex scenarios for example one scenario that i can mention here in this video is about java processes now i really don't have a good example in this case but but like, bear with me right so as you can see i have two java processes running right looks demo and skeleton right now there is a problem as you can see in our previous scripts that we have searched here, right? If when we want to kill uh, a specific task, right? We search for notepad.txe, right? So, or your executable VLC media player, which is VLC.txe or Power BI or whatever, right? But 
let's have a little bit of a look over here in our task manager right and as you can see because i have two java instances running i actually have two java.exe processes running with the same name so if we use any of these scripts for uh, killing the specific task or the built-in advanced installer uh, process termination task right custom action uh, this will fail because let's say I only want to kill this one the looks demo right for example uh, now here is what I'm trying to say that this is a particular scenario but what we need to look here is the actual command line and again this is the part where if you read the book it will be a little bit different in this case it's a little bit easier to interpret because what we are running is the standard java path .java .exe minus jar and we are actually running two jar files right we are not actually running a specific uh, demo compiled uh, java program right but again it's not easy right because in the same manner we still need to look in the command line of this specific java and kill only this one the looks demo right so if we have a look i have a vb script here uh, and i think this is the one yes correct so uh it might look uh, a little bit more uh confusing at first but bear with me so if we have a look it's not much different from this one where we query the vmi for the win32 process right the win32 process class okay this is the same thing right we are again selecting all the processes from the windows 32 process now for each process that we find in this uh in this view here um if the command line uh, is different from nothing right because you have uh, for example this one you have nothing in the command line there are multiple other uh, executables which don't have a command line right so we exclude these ones good now for each one that this script finds for example firefox.exe we are getting the command line into this string here and what are, what are we going to do is use the in str right the in string function which is uh something that vbscript offers to search if in this variable here we find the word in this case demo this is what we had in the book but in this case we are not searching for demo for example we can search for what's this called looks demo right we can uh, put here looks demo and if this uh, utility if this script is now being executed it will search for all the actual processes that are running and when it will reach this java.exe it will say hey wait a minute in this command line i found this so this means i can actually terminate this process and then we are uh emptying our objects and that's it it's not that complicated you can find the script in the book so if you need it go search for it the way you implement it in advanced star is the same as with each and every other script right now when it comes to process detection detecting running processes before installation um, is another common requirement more or less advanced installer makes it easy with the detect process custom action right so if we go here we can say detect custom action uh, sorry detect process double click and we can say if notepad.txe is opened and you can see advanced installer already tells you this custom action will set the ai process state property to running or stopped in response to the process running or not now this is a property and based on this property you can tell your msi installer what to do you can put this uh, as a prerequisite to run another custom action you can put this as a prerequisite in the interface to notify the user to uh, uh, to shut down that specific um, task or you can simply stop the installation of the product it's up to you so this is how it's done with advanced installer 
you can also do this with VBScript and PowerShell, of course. And in VBScript, it's actually quite simple. Uh, this is more or less this is a script for waiting for a specific process, and it's and it's fine. Uh, we are getting to that in a moment. And if we have a look here, uh, the way we detect if a process is running is again by using WMI, and we are pars parsing all the processes. And if we find notepad.txe, uh, I can just simply put something here, uh, a message box to the user. Hey, this is running. And that's pretty much it. And the same with PowerShell. I don't think I have one. Let me check. No, this is wait for process. Good. Now, apart from detecting processes, uh, we also need to talk about waiting for a process since I've already shown you the scripts for them. Um, now, waiting for a process to close before continuing installation is crucial in some cases. Um, and let's see how we can accomplish this with VBScript and PowerShell. So with VBScript, in this example, I am waiting for Notepad to close, right? Um, and I'm going to put the script to sleep for one second. And as you can see, I have a do while. Now, what, what does this mean? In this particular variable here, I'm gathering my notepad.exe um, tasks which are running. While this is greater than zero, it means that notepad.exe is running, then I'm saying again, please search if this is running again. And I'm going to sleep. I'm going to put the script to sleep for one second. And we are going to loop this until notepad.exe is closed. Um, fair point, I'm not notifying the user that he needs to close this, uh, the notepad plus, plus, uh, the notepad.exe in this case. Of course, you can put a message box, but this is the way you can detect if a process is running and you need to wait for it. Uh, for PowerShell, it's a little bit more simpler. You have the wait process commandlet uh, and you just simply state the name. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, as with PowerShell, it makes things much easier. So, just a single line of PowerShell can pause the script until a specified process, uh, like Notepad, is closed. You can integrate this easily into Advanced Installer as well, right? Because you can uh, put a PowerShell inline script, right? And say uh, something like wait process name Notepad. And that's it. And you can uh, say when this will run. And that's pretty much it. To sum it up, whether you use Advanced Installer, VBScript or PowerShell, understanding how to handle processes in your installers is crucial. Each method has its strengths and can be chosen based on the complexity of the task and your comfort with scripting. Thanks for joining me in this custom action series. Stay tuned for more insights and tutorials from Advanced Installer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Until next time, happy scripting!